Okay, my day in a nutshell. Well, I got up at like 3.30 in the morning to do stuff like this. I'm shooting time-lapse photography, I'm figuring all this stuff out, it's great, it's fun, whatever. And then I worked forever today. So I got home a little while ago and I started messing around on Facebook because that's kind of what I do when I'm home instead of watching the television, um, anything like that. So I watched around on Facebook for a little while and then I thought to myself, I'm really tired, I'm gonna go to bed because I really didn't sleep much last night. So I was going to do that, but then somebody posted on Facebook the words mushroom pizza. I mean, they had mentioned mushroom pizza. They didn't just, that wasn't their post, just mushroom pizza. They had made a mention of mushroom pizza. I said, wow, that's really good. That sounds wonderful. I haven't eaten much today, so I'm going to get me a mushroom pizza. So then I got distracted by this great X-Men meets metal video. Um, and after I got distracted by that some more, I went on to Grubhub and I decided I was going to order a mushroom pizza. So I filled in my address and I found a pizza place named Boccuccinini Pizza which clearly must be authentic Italian because of the character count in the name. Um, so I found myself a plain pizza for which to customize with mushrooms. So, done. Place my order. I'm excited. I'm going to get a mushroom pizza. Grubhub went and gave me like a little cool screen where they reinforced or whatever the fact that I had ordered a mushroom pizza, which was very nice because I like to know that I really did order my pizza. See, there you go. It's a cheese pizza with mushrooms. So, okay, great. And But then they decided that I clearly needed to know how Grubhub worked. So I, I decided, okay, maybe I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, guys, you know what? You want to tell me how Grubhub works? Go for it. So they explained that they send the restaurant my order. Um, and clearly they do this by stuffing my order inside of a cannon and shooting it over the restaurant at the giant chef that's guarding the restaurant. And they probably hit him in the head with it. So there's the giant chef He's guarding the restaurant. Then the chef makes it. This is all unseen right now. But he makes it, and he puts it in a little brown purse, and he hands to a strange man in a little car. So, okay. So red-headed man in a little car that's a delivery car, has, his pizza, has my pizza or my order, which was shot out of the cannon, over the restaurant at the head of the chef. And he's gonna he's gonna deliver to me. Well, okay, naturally I do what anybody does when they have delivery coming. Um, I decide to fart around and not do anything. Cool. But apparently that's not really what happens to Grubhub. Apparently they deliver pizza fairly often to naked men on couches. Okay? I'm on a couch and I'm male. But I'm not naked. Because why would I be naked if I'm ordering a fucking pizza? Like, who does that? Who does that? And, you know, I was thinking to myself, maybe you're making a big deal out of this. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's just like an oversight, right? No, fuck that. It's not an oversight. The chef has clothing. He has this fucking chef jacket. The little man in the car is at least wearing a shirt. We don't know that he's wearing pants, but it can be assumed. But no. The orderer is naked. Okay. I don't know why. I'm maintaining the fact that I'm not naked. And you know what? If I was naked and I ordered pizza, I'd put on some fucking pants before the guy got here. Wouldn't you? Just think about this. It's madness. It doesn't make any sense.